ugly thing right here is fame. Yeah. Apparently I have to do intros now because it's on my channel. Yeah. I don't know what kind of bullshit that is, but I you know. know. What's up? This is her channel. Oh yeah, you should do that. I'm gonna hire her to do that. I don't know. I'm gonna do one for mine. I can't see you. <laughs> Family. My family. My family. My family. And like what it's like not to fit in. And she's like gonna be in the video because she like lived with me at my mom's house and my grandparents' house. So yeah. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. Just so much mean shit's happened. I don't know. I mean, I remember a lot of shit, but... So do you want to start when we live with Packy, or... Did we live with him first? Yeah, so we lived, we lived with, uh, with my dad first, and then he kicked us out, so then we lived... <laughs> he kicked me out. <laughs> I could live with him voluntarily, and then he, we got moved in with Pappy, and then the fight between you and Amy happened, so then we had to move in with, like, with your Oh, you know what? I lived at home when we first got together. Like, I was at my house, she was at her dad's, and I, like, fucked up <laughs> and did stuff to... Oh, that's a whole yeah, I did stuff to my stepdad, because me and him weren't getting along at the time. And then he called my aunt to come and get me, because he was pretty much telling her that he was trying to keep from, you know, harming me. So... It was some crazy shit. So, my aunt came to get me, took me to her place, and then she was like, it was like six in the morning because I had to go to work, so she was taking me to Ava's house, and I didn't know I was kicked out at this point. Like, I had no idea. I thought I was going to, like, let my dad cool off and go back home, and then my mom called me when I was at her house and was like, honey, you can't come home. Your dad doesn't want you <laughs> to live here anymore. So, yeah, so then I had to talk my dad into letting her live with us and he said it was fine he was fine with it at first and then at first um then he said he couldn't afford me yeah so, so we just she didn't have a job i didn't have a job so it was hard which i understood so the only reason he's like let us live here is because she works yeah so i um so i i yeah so yeah i don't know yeah we're back at her dad's again by the way <laughs> we bounced around a lot so yeah and then we after pat we then after we were mom, we moved in with Pappy and Amy back again, and then after you're, that, we you're, moved like, in. you're just skipping through shit. Anyway. I'm saying what we did. I'm not saying you're the one telling the story. You know what? You're supposed to tell the story to you. Okay, so, yeah. Got kicked out of her dad's house, and then we, like, moved to a Pappy, right? Yeah. I try to forget, so I'm sorry if I can't remember. <laughs> we lived with my grandparents and my aunt. That didn't go well. Got kicked out of there um, because of an incident. And then, did we go back to your dad's or was it to my mom's? No, we went straight to your mom's because my dad, oh. like, he didn't, my dad wouldn't let us move back in. Like, he wasn't letting me move back in. So, we decided, we had to, like, beg and plead your mom to, like, let yeah. us. We had no problem with letting us move in. We went to your dad and everybody else. Yeah. Was letting me move back in. I mean, that's, that like, the whole story of that. I'll do that another time. Oh, um, um, that's I do plan on doing story times on here, but, like, we moved in with them, and my mom was kind of whatever about it, but it was, like, my sister and my brother, um, didn't really like her, and, I don't know why, and then, um, my dad was the worst, he was, yeah, I mean, he, like, he would ignore me, like, he would buy food, like, he wouldn't even, he, oh god, he would buy food, and then, like, they would eat it in front of us, and then, like, we wouldn't have anything to eat, because we didn't have, like, any money or any means of anything, like, to help out, so, well, my I'm mom, doing. like, would come home and feed us, or her dad would, like, drive out and feed us. Yeah, I think that's, like, the, that's the thing that made me mad, was that they were treating her like shit, because 
of me and I was like why am I even here like why don't we just I was at the point where I was actually just thinking about just moving back in my dad and be like you know like you can stay here and I'll move back with my dad because Obviously, well, eventually, because we were supposed to go, my dad, he only agreed to us moving in because we were supposed to go to job court. Fuck that shit. And, yeah. like, my mom, like, took took me to get an outfit and, like, took us to get ready for it. And we wrote essays on it and all this stuff. And then we didn't do it because of, like, everything they were telling us. And they were, like, telling her, like, the guy was like, oh, like, you're not going to see some hot chick and, like, cheat. Like, it was just crazy. Like, what are you trying to be, like, an intervention? Like, you're really you're serious and it works because i'm like I'm, and it wasn't the fact that i was afraid of cheating it was just the fact that like i don't want to deal with these assholes and i really don't feel like being stuck in a boot camp and not be able to do anything like i was too i still am too mentally unstable and too like have too much of an attitude and putting on people's bullshit it's fucking school like it's a job corp it's not serious it's not like well it's serious but it's not like it's only going to medical school like do fucking Christ. Like, I was like, fuck that, and I swerved out of there. But then I had to swerve out of her house, so. Yeah, was, so, my dad was like, well, so trying to do a job for her, but she has to move out. So then I was there, and then she moved out, and I can't even really remember what happened after that. Did I just, like, go back over and visit? I guess. I don't even remember, like, what I happened don't... after you moved out. I honestly can't remember. I don't even know, like... Like, seriously, I tried to erase all this shit. I tried to forget. Because I don't know if we... if Because I don't... Because I don't know if we moved in with happening, like, right after that incident. I don't think it was right after, because I know you were home for a while. But I... From that situation that happened with when we... When Amber was watching the house, I don't know if that was the same time, because I remember I told him that I was moving out. So I don't know if that was before we even moved like if that was the first time we moved out because I don't even know how old I was like that was so shitty like I don't even remember how old I was why do I feel like we moved back to your dad's house twice though I don't honestly even remember my, my memory's shot I can't remember but anyway so <laughs> we can't remember but we ended up moving back in with my grandparents at some, um, at some point and we were there until last year in April and then we moved in with our ex-friends Amber and Justin yeah that was fun so we were there with them until what was it August last year yeah yeah August September Sometime. it was like the it, it was August 28th it was the end of fucking August and we moved in to this house with her dad and then they moved in with us um, until, um, so, yeah, no, yeah, April yeah. 1st, April 2nd, actually, but not April 2nd, so they were here until, like, the beginning of April, and then they moved out to go live with their grandma, and so, long gone, I don't even know. what, I told them this was a chill channel, no drama, no drama, <laughs> I try not to have any. <laughs> well, anyway, so basically, so, getting to the point we yeah. talked about a lot. So we, we, let's get yeah. into the topic. So, like dealing with your family. Dealing like. with my family. Yay! I was trying to avoid that. Okay. Well, anyway, the topic mainly is supposed to be not really like I fit in. So that was like a little gist of it because they made me feel like shit, and. Like, they, I don't know, they acted really different with me, like, when I got with Ava. Like, I don't know what it was. I'm a female. Let's just get I've down dated to other, the I've dated other girls, though. It's because I'm fucking, look at me. I'm intimidating. Like, I'm overbearing. Okay? Like, people look at me and they're like, this bitch has an attitude problem. And it's, they're correct. But I'm not I don't not think crazy. it's because you're intimidating, though. You don't intimidate them. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm different. I'm not, like, Christian. I'm just, Sarah I don't, wasn't Christian. Okay, but I, mean, I don't know what it was. I don't honestly don't know what it was. I, don't, I really don't know what the I don't even know. It's not because, because I'm white because she dated white girls before me. And I don't think it's because I'm a female because she dated females before me. But maybe I just think it's parents. something about you. Like, I mean, I'm Ouch, not. thanks. <laughs> I think, no, you know what I think it is? I'm I think not. it's because they finally realized that you were going to be serious with me. They probably thought that every other relationship was just stupid, and just like my parents did. And then they started to see that it was getting serious, and they were like, oh, well, we thought this was just a phase. 
Like no. Okay, well that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I've been serious with other girls before, and my mom knew that I was serious with this girl Sarah that I went out with. So, I mean, I hate that bitch. I don't know. I really honestly don't know what it is, but it's like for some reason they really started to treat me different after I got with her. And I don't know what that's about. I've asked them, the and they never really, like, told me. I mean, my mom's different. My mom, like, is okay with her. Well, her mom likes me. I've messaged her for her birthday, and she said, thanks, honey. And I was like, I got all cute. But I don't know why they don't like me. I really don't. I think it's because we're too much alike, to be honest. I keep, I always tell her that. I'm like, the reason your dad doesn't like me is because we're too much alike. So you know, both assholes. Okay, well, what I wanted to mainly bring her on here for to discuss was, like, um, what do you, what your opinion was on how they were towards me, like, just observing them, like, even when they weren't really treating me like shit because of you, but, like, just in general, like, I when I would call you on the phone and stuff, even when I lived at home, like, yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know, like, I would just Why are you even on here doing nothing to say? I do have, I have a lot to say, actually, but it's your channel, so I'm not trying to talk too much, but <laughs> my thing is, is, I got pissed off a lot because I was just like, I don't understand why they're, like, doing this, like, I don't know, I mean, I feel like, to be honest, like, there's just some people you can't live with, regardless of your family, like, I know, like, I love my mom to death, but I could not live with her, like, it's not because of her, it's just because we're both too much alike, that we're both hard-headed as fuck, and we both want things our way and that doesn't work when you live with somebody like you have to like there has to be like compromise. rules and, and that's, compromise that's the thing like i'm not saying my mom's like a hard ass like now especially now since i'm an adult but it's just the point of like you know it just wouldn't work like i already know that it wouldn't work just because there's just a lot of factors but i mean i wouldn't mind living with my mom like i don't think it would be bad it wouldn't be as bad as it was like we wouldn't start punching each other and shit but it's just the point of yeah life. but do you really think you could live with her like I mean, after a while. Or do you think it would be okay for maybe like a month and then... I think it would be fine if I was by myself, like, to be honest. Like, if I had nothing else that I had to bring with me, I think I'd be fine. <laughs> no, well, we're like, just gonna boot this bitch off my channel. <laughs> no, I mean, like, if I didn't have, if, like, you know, if I was, like, literally just by myself, like, if I had, like... No, other her mom living. don't like me. That's what we were saying. She no, like her me. mom likes her. Mom, my mom likes her. It's just the thing of like, there's certain things that me and Ashley do as a couple, and not just sexual. That it's not gonna be okay with my mom, and the fact that we have cats. Like, there's just a lot of factors that go in with it. But if it, I knew that if I was on myself, I don't think. Well, you're not. That so big of a problem. moving on. Bitch. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. Well, that, I'm. I'm we're getting away from the subject here. Oh okay, I don't know if it's on the frame. Sorry. <laughs> but no, like, I just, what, honestly, when I would call you and I would be, like, upset about something my dad said or my sister and brother, because my sister and brother, they're, like, the dynamic duo. They're, like, really close. And I used to be really close to them. But when I got older and I started getting all my um, mental issues and stuff like that, like, they just got pushed further and further away from me. And then they just, like, kind of gripped onto each other and were like, well, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't hate them for it. I mean, that's great that they're close, and I'm happy about that. But I just kind of wish that I was close to them. So now it's like they say hi to me and stuff like that, but we're not. We don't really act like loving siblings. So, that's why I'm glad I don't have siblings. But anyway, <laughs> the point, I don't know. I mean, when you call me and tell me, like, it was kind of, like, I mean, I would get, I would get pissed off, and, like, I'd want to, like, say something to him, because it's kind of, like, I don't like feeling like I have to keep my mouth shut when stuff makes me upset, but at the same time, like, I wasn't trying to start more shit for you while you were living there, but at the same time, it was, like, I mean, I felt like I wanted to help, but I couldn't help, and it just kind of made me mad. Like, and then I was also confused because, like, I just don't understand why they're treating her like shit. And then, obviously, that's not trying to think about myself and it's all about me, but it's just the point of, like, obviously, the first thing that comes to my head is because she's with me. Like, it's not, 
not because I'm like, and oh, that's I'm the thing. greatest I don't thing even ever. Know that that's what it is. I don't. I don't know. I know that it could be. It's part of it. Like I can't yeah. deny that it isn't part of it. I know it's part of it, but it's like I can't. I can't reach this. Like that's the thing. I don't. And I've never felt like I was a part of my family. I went through so many different <laughs> phases and different like looks and and shit like that. That my family just wasn't into you. Like I love Halloween. I was into the creepy shit. <laughs> the darker side of life and you know when I was brought up we were brought up Christian and all about Christmas and I mean we didn't really celebrate only like we went out trick-or-treating but that was it like my mom didn't want me to decorate anything like that and I always like wanted to decorate I was like all about that life but my family wasn't and so that's like when I mean I didn't feel like I fit in so I don't know what it is like there's all kinds of different factors I don't know if my family doesn't get along with me because of my mental issues like I think maybe it's a part of it but i don't know obviously dating her that's always been a problem you know like when they found out we were together like they were like what you're dating her like it's a thing you guys are together like Like, (laughs) oh god okay i mean i can but anyway and then like, I've just always been different. I went through my gothic phase, my emo phase. It was like my, I don't know. It was like my family was afraid of me. Like, I can see. I can see why. I was like the, the black sheep. <laughs> well, it's because they're so not normal. Like, obviously nobody's normal. But it's just the fact that, like, they're, they're they all like the same thing. They're all kind of. They were all about, other. like, anime and stuff like that. I mean, I don't mind anime. But I wasn't, like, about that as much as them. They're all about working out and like being they i mean i don't hate working out you know what i'm saying like i just don't want that to be my life like my sister wanted to go to school for that to be like an instructor and help people lose weight so i was like i'm not i want to be a panda keeper like you know i was like the one that just didn't fit in with everybody else i spent most of my time as a teenager in my room my mom had to come knock to tell me dinner was ready and I just I would take my food and go upstairs I didn't feel like I could sit downstairs with them and like I'd go upstairs and like call like people like friends and stuff like that and then when I got with her I'd go upstairs and call her like I just I didn't feel like I fit in I couldn't eat dinner with them and then when they like would leave and go and do activities I didn't want to go and then my sister and brother when my brother started football like that was my family's thing but I just didn't feel like I could be a part of it and, like, I would always tell her about it. And I was like, I just don't feel like I fit in here. That's what I'm talking about, family, to be honest. I still don't feel like I fit in. Like, when I go around my family, I feel so awkward. Because they're all, like, skinny minis and shit. And I'm just like... I, I, I already told her. Like, I'm white as hell. Like, I mean, looking white. But I already told her that I would probably feel more comfortable with her dad's side like her biological dad and they not okay ghetto's a rude word but they're like i don't know how would you i don't even know like i can't they're not ghetto because they're not like i'm not gonna say it like they're not ghetto i'm not gonna say they're ghetto but they're they're they're... very slangy and you know what i mean like they're tip not oh my god i'm so (laughs) nice i mean they're they're awesome people and they're outgoing and they're out there like they're like me where i feel like yeah not her parents but like her, you know, mom's side and everything, they're very quiet, timid, and I'm like, I can't be around that. Like, I'm too loud and obnoxious, and I okay, feel like I, I mean, avoid them. I'm kind of loud. Like, if I'm comfortable enough, like, I'm kind of loud. I mean, I am still quiet. Like, like I feel like if I was around Kaya, like, probably for, like, the first, like, five minutes, I'd be awkward, and then right after that, yeah, I but would I'm be, like, like I mean, obnoxious. I'm still quieter than her. I mean, you know, like, That's hell. I'm still shy and, like, timid and stuff like that unless I'm really comfortable and I really know you. I'm just comfortable what I'm doing, then yeah. But I don't know. Everyone on my mom's side, and then you know my my stepdad and stuff. Like, hey, baby, I like you. I love my family, but I just don't like. I just don't. After I moved out, I didn't even think they cared. Like they were just like, eh, you know, like life goes on. They didn't. It just didn't seem like it mattered to them. They just kept on living without me. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, and I think that's the most frustrating part of it is the fact that, like, you don't know because they won't give you any answers, and it's like, why is it so hard for you? But it's like, I don't even feel comfortable, like, 
like like I said before, I love them, but I don't feel like I can sit down and have a conversation with them. I don't feel like I can do that with them. I don't feel close enough to do that with them. I just think it's stupid that they're not giving you answers, at least. Like, I mean, if you, look, everyone has, is entitled to not like somebody. Everyone is entitled to not like things about certain people. But at least, like, have the decency to tell someone, like, how you really feel. Like, if someone doesn't like me, I'm not going to lose sleep in it. I really don't give a fuck. But the point is that at least tell me if you don't like me or that you, why you don't like me. Like, that's just common decency, like, to be honest. And it's the same thing within your family. Like, if you don't like something that she's doing or whatever, then, you know, you just tell her, like, you know, like, that's why I don't talk to my family because they, like, at all. Like, I mean, I've recently been starting to because we've been, because of stuff that happened with my grandma, like, I've started to get in contact with my family again, but... I think it's brought so much anxiety into my life and I'll, I'll explain it in my channel and whatever, but anyway, yeah. so it's brought anxiety into my life and not in a good way because of certain things that have happened, but I feel like with her, um, I just think like, I don't know, there's so many different reasons why they act the way they act and I don't think they're as bad as it was, but even I don't like going over there, like she can tell, like I'm completely different around her family. Like. I don't talk. I don't really do anything. Like I act like I can't. I'm not even there because I don't know how to act. Like because of who I am as a person, if I acted that way in front of them, I they wouldn't like, like me very much. I don't feel like they, they would really be okay with it. I guess. And I know that like you know you have to kind of change yourself like a little bit around certain people and around certain situations. I have no problem with that, but I don't want to. But I feel like I have to change myself like 110 percent like completely like I feel like I have to have a dick at a some point to just say sometimes sometimes I feel like I have to be a guy at some situations just because I feel like I have to change that much <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know I mean making my channel dirty girl I'm already dirty <laughs> no, no. but I don't know it's I don't know just because I cuss doesn't make it dirty I'm just saying like <laughs> it's just I don't even know. Like, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I, I, I know that I got pissed off. I know that I would be like livid and want to say shit, but I was, I was honestly just as confused as her because, and then obviously me and me I'm in still situation. Confused. I don't even know if they like me. <laughs> well, it's like in the situation. They say they love me, but you can love someone and not like them. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like in the situation, in the situation. Um, with her, it was kind of like, I'm like, I don't really fucking know what's going on, to be honest. You know, it's kind of hard to change something or fix something about yourself when people won't tell you what the fuck's wrong. Like, you know, when people are like, you need to, you should know what's wrong with you. It's like, no, not really. <laughs> You're you like, um. And my thing is that if people won't tell me what's wrong that I'm doing, then I'm not going to change regardless. I'm not even going to try and figure it out. And I mean, half the time I know what my problem is. I tell you, a bitch all the time, you don't change. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I know what's wrong with me, but it's just the oh. thing, is that if people are, are getting pissed off over something stupid, I'm like, I'm not going to fucking change that. Like, you're not that fucking relevant in my life. I need to change it. Am I relevant? Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, if someone off the street was Yet like, I don't... Yeah, she hasn't changed. I was like, if someone's like, if I don't like your hair, I'm like, I don't, I don't like your face. hair. I'm just saying, like, it's, I don't know, but her family is just complicated, but it's okay. I love her mom, and I respect her family, like, I don't disrespect them, I don't, like, hate them, or whatever. I'm just kind of here. I don't, I don't, I respect them enough to be, like, you know. Yeah, it's just hard being in a relationship when you know your family doesn't like who you're with, and you want so bad for them to be able to come over. Which, I don't understand why they don't And interact you. with your family, like, I would, I've had exes that were around my family, and they joked with them, and interacted with them, played games with them, stuff like that, and it hurts it, that I'm with her and they don't do that, and I can't have that relationship. It's frustrating because it's like, if they're still holding on to the shit that I did, like, years ago, I don't know what to do, because I can't take back the things that I've said, the things that I've done, and it's like, just forgiven. And I've, like, like, fought like, them. You know? I have tried to get them to be nice. I've you know, I'm like, she's not like that. She's, you know, she's not that type of person. She's not who you think she is. It's like, 
I'm fighting a losing battle. And I mean, I get it. There are people out there that once they see that one side of you, they don't care to try to see a different side. And I get that. I'm not saying that all people have to be like your mom and get like 10 billion chances. Like, I appreciate that because... We, I love that. But, <laughs> but at least her mom was able to see that there that I wasn't just that asshole that they Yeah, but my, mom, but my mom is about that. She's, you know, and I'm always... She's always been like that about you know, forgiving people 70 times 7, and, you know, just kind of always giving someone a chance. Which I appreciate. Taking a chance on people. So, like, my mom was talking about that today when I went to her house, you know, and she was, she's like, I don't understand people that act like that and, you know, don't want to help, but, you know, stuff like that. My mom was just going on, but basically say she doesn't understand people that don't give chances and stuff like that, so. I mean, like, and I don't pre- I don't look that at least her mom did that because if her mom wasn't the type of person to give chances, I'd be fucked. I don't even. But I you know I but that's the thing though. So fucked up the asshole. You yeah, not really, because you know I still stay with you. Yeah, but do you know how hard it would be? Like, yeah, I, it would be like monster in law. Like if we like legit like I don't know. I don't know. And I guess like message that I pretty much sent to my family was, you know, you don't like her, but she's not going anywhere. So, I don't know. I mean, I love them, but I'm not going to, like, give up a relationship where I'm happy just to make them happy. Oh, you're happy. Lying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, totally. um, the camera goes off right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but no, I don't know. I, I think, like, I think it's just, I don't think it's going to go anywhere just because it's like, it's it's like, it's like when you want to change something, but you can't communicate with that person because they're just wishy-washy, you know? And she agrees with me on that, with the whole, and I'm not being disrespectful because she knows that, like, and it is true because there's some days where I'll talk to Bree and she'll be like talking to me like there was this one time she picked me up in the car and it was just me and I, I didn't want to feel awkward so I tried having a conversation with her like you know asking her about school and all that shit and we had like a full-blown conversation and I literally after I got the car I cried because I literally was so happy that we talked and then the next time I saw her she didn't want anything to do with me so it was kind of like I don't understand okay like well, I don't understand honestly, that <laughs> I'm gonna put that out there my little sister is a little prima donna okay <laughs> like <laughs> I'm sorry. Like my little brother says she's salty. <laughs> she she does that with anybody. She does it with my own mom, okay? She either wants something to do with you or she doesn't want anything to do with you at all. Like one minute you're her best friend and then the next minute you're just a bitch. Like that's just how my sister is. She does it with my mom, my dad, me, my brother. It doesn't matter who you are. Dogs. Probably. She even does it with my dog. She made my dog cry the other day. Fuck you, Prince. <laughs> oh my god, it was Prince. She made cry. <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> but Prince started crying, then she felt bad. He knows how to do that manipulation. Oh, he does that deal. But she's like that with anybody. So I mean, I get it. I mean, it's disrespectful as all hell, though. Someone's like trying to, like, you know, at least talk to you. The least she could do is talk back. But she I told my sister. Because it's like, because it's like, and then I, when I try to have a conversation. Like, I don't know whether it's going to go well, like, that one time, or if it's going to go sour, like, the other time. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have a conversation and it's going to go well, and it's kind of like, I don't even want to try to have a conversation because I don't want to risk it not yeah. not, uh, not even getting anything out So, of she doesn't have to feel like she's alone, basically. My point is that she doesn't really fit in with my family, but I don't really fit in with them. So, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, we're both the misfits that... <laughs> <laughs> don't fit in. I mean, it would be nice, like, to be honest. Like, I would love that. I would love for them to be close, but, I mean... Because I feel like we could, but it's hard when... They're not she, trying. The, like, I... And she knows that I've tried. Like, and I continue to try. And I've gotten on my family like, about them trying. Like, you could at least try. I'm always telling them, like, can you at least try? Can you try to talk to her? Can you, you know... And, and then they really tell me... It. Then they tell me they're going to try, and then they don't do anything. So that's the part that hurts me. Don't tell me you're gonna try and then not do it. But I think like I I don't know how to try because I don't know where the boundaries lie or where like the I don't even know. Like I just don't know where to start because I I know like the basic things about 
her brother and sister are not her dad, but it's like, I don't know what conversations to have. Like, it's just kind of awkward. Like, I remember, like, because I've known her life since her little brother was in elementary school. Like, that's literally how long we've been together. That is so scary. <laughs> but, I mean, we've literally been together since he's been in, like, fifth grade. Like, that, that's some crazy shit, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so it's kind of like, to, like, watch them, like, grow and, like, like scary like to watch them grow and it's like they've changed so much so it's kind of like i don't know what they like (laughs) i don't know what conversations to have like i know they basically like the same thing that they used to like but it's like it's it's hard to have a conversation with them because you don't know how they're gonna act don't feel bad my mom can't really talk to them like it's just hard like i get it like i'm like that too sometimes sometimes but where, you know, you feel, where you don't know if I'm going to be in a, in a mood where I don't want to talk or if I do want to talk. So, I mean, I get it that people go through moods like crazy. that, but it, it's hard to deal with. I know it's hard to deal with people deal with it with me, but. People, I'm the one that has to deal with it. This bitch goes to work and they get nice, funny Ava. I get stinky feet, gassy ass, mean, bitching about everything Ava. And then she goes to work and she's fine. Like, I don't understand. I'm not fine. I just have to be I don't fine. Understand. Oh, please. Like, I, I plenty of people that go to work and don't give a fuck. Yeah, but I need. Mean, and they're still working there, so. My point is, okay? Obviously, you understand because she's fucking crazy. But anyway. Moving on to my grandparents, and my my grandma has Alzheimer's, so she doesn't really count, but my aunt and my grandfather. Yeah. Should we, like, make that into a part two? Like, we're already, like, 30 minutes in. Oh, yeah. We should make that part two. See, see, once I get comfortable, I can't stop talking. She's like me, and she wants to talk shit about me. Okay. I'm not talking shit. She's like, you fucking talk too much. Oh, God, stop talking. See, that's my family season, so I don't even think I'm talking shit. I'm not talking shit. Love you. Oh, God, I don't want them to see this. I really don't, because I probably said some shit I probably shouldn't have said. <laughs> A lot of respect, I swear, guys. A lot of fucking respect. I'm just going off what she said. Just kidding. I don't know Whatever, y'all don't like me anyway. Okay. Hey! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. <laughs>